Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. In our previous video, I have shown you that how we will do our dispersal spectrum analysis and also I have completed for pushover analysis till define load case for pushover analysis. And in this video, I will start from that video, I mean of that ending and here I'll show that how will assign hinge property for nonlinear statistics pushover analysis for beam and for column and after that we'll go for our desert analysis for nonlinear pushover analysis so let's start and if you're new here you have to watch the previous video the link is given in description and one thing I have to tell you that always I want to short my video as soon as possible within, te within 10 or 12 minutes I always try to finish my video because uh, the long video make us irritate and uh, for my term when I used to watch the tutorial video from my another uh, favorite YouTube channel and uh, I always wish that the video length will be short because the long video We've been very excited for that. That's why I always try to make the short video so that it can save our time. And uh, uh, suppose uh, today I'm seeing a video, the next day also I will see a video. That's why. So let's start. First of all, I'll open our ETAPS and here is our previous model. You have to open our previous your previous model from here. So there is the previous model and the model should be like that. That's that's not it. You have to draw your model model as required as your plan. Then you have to do the procedure. It's also same as our previous video. So uh, now we'll go for assign his property. So we'll go here assign. Sorry, we'll go here his assign, then frame. Then we'll go here for his. But if you see that here the hinge option are not available so when it will be then you have to move that structure and again go here as an frame and hinge property sorry it's showing some problem I'm just going to check that sorry I have done a little mistake at first we have to select the frame where we want to assign our hinge property so first of all I'll go here select select object type and uh, for beams for beams I want to assign hinge property first of all so select then close and go assign frame and here hinge and you are seeing that the hinge are not available so you have to go here and just press your school button and move that little more after that go here frame hinge you are seeing that hinge option are available now so after that click here and here it's you are seeing that here hinge property should be auto and relative distance relative distance first of all it should be 10 percent I mean uh, from uh, one point to another point uh, suppose from that point you know, it will be it will create his 10 percent of its distance of its full span length 
10% of its of its full span length. So suppose uh, its length are 100 feet. So it will create hands after 10 feet, and from here it will create create after 90 feet from that point. So that's why we have to give her relative distance. It's 10%, so it will be 0.1. 10% means 0.1. Okay, then add. After that, add. We have to click her auto hinge type. It should be. We have to select our code value. So from here, we have to select ASCE for on. 1 3 and from here select a hinge table it should be table number 10 7 concrete beam for concrete beam frag flag jar item i so okay and after that degree of freedom it should be m3 degree of freedom M3 and here value B value from case or combo V value from case or combo it should be POAX POAX for pushover X first time we'll assign it for pushover X and then Press here, press OK. This for and this for uh, X direction. Now we have to do for Y direction. For Y direction, again click zero, it will be 0 0.1 and again click here, it will be. 14 13 okay and it will be table 10 7 it's also okay it's also okay and here it should be POY there will be only change here so press okay after that we have to give here 90% of its distance that's mean from here it will create a hinge that point I mean after 90% of its total length so it will be 0 0.9 then click here add also it will be table ASC 40 on 13 then also here table 710 ok degree of freedom M3 and case or combo here for first time it will be for px then press ok after that 0 0.9 also add and it will be asc4 14 13 table 10 7 degree of freedom m3 V value from Kaiser combo it will be Y and another everything will be same then press OK then press OK it's assigning hints so if you see here if we go here and if we remove the club then you can see that here is the here is the hinge where that is for this hinge is for 10% distance and from that point 10% distance and that is for 90% distance from that point I mean uh, from that point it is 10% away 
and it's also 10% distance away so we have assign or hinge for beam and now I will assign it for column so for column we have to go here select then go select then object type and from here columns select close after that move that by pressing your scroll button and go here assign frame and hinges similarly we have to done same thing for it so 0 0.1 same as uh, previous 0 0.1 just they have some little change 0 0.1 then again go add and from here from here we have to select auto hinge type ASC 4 on 13 40 on 13 and for select a hinge table it should be T10 8 T10 8 concrete columns for on our previous or previous us for concrete beam and that is for concrete columns and from here degree of freedom we have to select P M to M3 and value from P value from case or combo P O A X then press okay and everything will be same so okay after that again go for add and it will be concrete column 40 on ok p3 and there only on be change po ay and press ok then we'll go for 0 0.9 as previous i mean for 90 percent then press add then it will be same same it will be same just there we have to change for POAX everything will be same but you have to change you have to check that is it right or not so press ok after the 0 0.9 again add and it will be for POY and here 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 everything are right so press ok then press ok now if you see here also if you see here that our hints property are available here so everywhere our hints property have been assigned perfectly so it's done We have as and hints for our I mean our beam and for beam and columns. So uh, it's okay till now and in our next video I'll try to show you that how will analysis how will as and hints over weight and after that we'll go for final analysis. So Thank you, thank you very much. It's still stay collected till next video.